started? I think we were talking them forward. This ain't going to stay. Let's get started. Lord, help us to stay, Lord Jesus. Okay, everybody, we're going to uh, open in prayer. I'm going to ask Brother Jeff to open us in prayer this morning. Brother Jeff. Brother Jeff. Open us in prayer this morning. Most holy and ever-loving Father, Lord. We invite you in today, Lord. We pray that what you see will be accepted in the sight. Yes, Lord. We pray that you come in and help the word, Lord. We pray you prepare our hearts to receive the word today. We pray you bless, bless the preacher. And then help us be better from that word. We love you. We thank you. We praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 This, this is a bro. Trust in the Lord until I die. This Amen. Is, this is a bro. Amen. Amen. I, I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I die.
we got a little time for testimony. Um, and I know one person in particular said, when it comes testimony time, don't forget about me. <laughs> but before we do testimony, I just want to get a couple of people who were in Sunday school tell us uh, something they got out of Sunday school today. Sister Mel. It's okay to pray to God when people messing with you. And God will give you peace as you go through. And he will hold back the enemy. Amen. Amen. Well, I, I didn't hear the part where it's okay to God. Get him. Okay. Well, yeah, well, yeah. That, that's what we said in Sunday school today. It's okay sometimes to say, get him, God. Yep, yeah, it is. Amen. <laughs> Sister Amar? Um, one thing I got out of the lesson today was that um, you don't always um, know what God is doing. Well, we, um, as we learned in the lesson, that God was still moving on behalf of Amen. 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 We don't always know how God is answering our Amen. prayer. We may not see it, but you find out. Anybody else on the Sunday school? All right, Sister um, Juanita, you're the first one to jump up. the seat for her so if she yes. wants to come there's room okay amen. we all love help personally amen. Yes. amen amen sister mark i said that i was going to get up and just thank god um today was our first day of um, being able to touch and agree with amen. one another amen amen And then uh, Brother Dartan, I don't want to forget about you. So it's going to be Ro Rolanda, then Dartan, then Melody, Melanie, and then uh, Sister April. Okay, I got you. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Sister Rolanda. I just want to thank God for just giving me a peace that passes all understanding. And um, despite my situation, Sister April, I didn't forget about you. Praise God for my blessings, love. Amen. Amen. I, um, I was sitting up here and I was rejoicing today. But yesterday, it wasn't so good. I didn't have, you know, I didn't have a really good day yesterday. And I couldn't understand it because it was supposed to be the Sabbath to me. Mm -hmm. you know?
Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Amen. April. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. Sister April has her granddaughter here today. Yes. And she's a smart young lady. I don't know if she's reading, but she sure picked up that Bible like she was going to read it. So, you know, always a blessing to see our, our grandchildren here. Any other words of testimony? Going. Going. Um, I just want to encourage us that as we get into this pandemic season, first of all, thank God for his protection. Amen. Okay. Um, getting the vaccine is a smart thing to do. Um, at the same time, we don't trust in the vaccine. We trust in God. Amen. Okay. We trust in God. Okay. So get the vaccine. Okay. Trust in God. And keep on keep on praying for the way things are, are, are going in, in the United States of America. Um, you know, it's a confusing and a scary time, but there's one group of people that has the answer. Who's that? God's people. God's people. Amen. Amen. We have the answer. Okay, and the truth is, the answer doesn't change from, from one uh, administration to the other. The truth is the truth every single day, and the truth does not change. Opinions change, okay, but just like Nehemiah, it doesn't matter what they say or how they make fun of us or how they, you know, whatever um, people may say, okay, we're going to trust in God, Amen. okay, and um, just like Nehemiah, and I was thinking about the song, Brother Joe, I didn't say it in Sunday school, but I was thinking about the song, you can talk about me as much as you please, yeah. I'll talk about you when I'm on my knees. Amen. Amen. So keep on praying. God is always good. Amen. 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 All right. Um, good for reading. Good morning. Good morning. Can, we, can we all stand? Uh, today's scripture reading comes from Hosea. Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4. get to Ezekiel, then after Ezekiel, then, then Daniel. And after Daniel, there, then there's um, Hosea. Hosea chapter 4. I see people still looking. Hosea chapter 4. We're going to be re reading from verses 6 through 12. From Hosea chapter 4. We all have it. Can we say amen? Amen. Okay. Well, let's begin. I'll read verse 6, and then you, you'll read verse 7, and so on until we get to verse 12. We'll read verse 12 together. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast Forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Jesus. As they were the priests, so shall they send me to me. Therefore, I shall change the glory of his name. They eat up the sin of my people, and they are set, and they set their heart on their iniquity. There shall be like people, like priests. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. 
Verse 12 together. My people ask counsel at their stops, and their staff declare unto them. For the spirit of the Lord has caused them to err, and they have gone a whoring from under their God. The Lord has blessed to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have altar prayer. If you like, you may come forward and kneel at the altar. If you'd like to stay where you are, that's fine. If you'd like to come forward, you may come forward this time. Kneel at the altar. Sunday school, you missed a good lesson. How God works. Sometimes he destroys our enemies. Sometimes he doesn't. He, he allows them to continue to antagonize us. But he'll keep you at peace through it and protect you. Father God, we thank you. And we praise you been wonderful to us. Father God, we know you can destroy our enemies. Yes. Hallelujah. At times you allow them to continue to antagonize us and to persecute us. But all the time, Lord, you kept you will keep your people safe. Amen. Father God, we help us all to have the heart of Nehemiah. Heart to to be humble, to pray, to seek your face, and to do your will. Father God, help us. Give us that desire, Lord God. Give us strong leadership. We thank you, Lord, for our pastor. We thank you, Lord, for the lesson that we learned in, uh, in Nehemiah, how strong of a leader in faith. And we see, Lord God, that his, the people followed him. Didn't say anything to the enemy, but to confess continue to follow their leader. Help us, Lord, to have that heart as followers. Follow the pastor as he follows you, Lord God. To be strong in faith. We see our enemies next door coming against us, trying to use and take up and monopolize our lot, parking lot, Lord God. We ask your continued blessing on, on us, our, our, our continued faith in you, Lord God. So, Father God, help us, Lord, to stand we saw them stand in, in, in your lesson in uh, Nehemiah today. They, were, they stand ready in faith and also ready to fight. So Father God, help us, Lord, to be strong in faith and, and following you. Father God, we pray, Lord God, for our, our leaders in, uh, in government. We lift them up to you, Lord God, and we pray, Lord God, that they will look to you, that they will be honest, that they'll be a rep good representative of that office. Lord God, good, good leaders, set good examples for us, Lord God, that may lead the people to you and not to do wrong. So, Father God, we pray, Lord God, for our leaders that they will look to you. Father God, we pray, Lord God, for our seniors in Midtown, yes. their strength in you, uh, their continued trust in your, in your sovereignty. Father God, we may not know what you're doing behind the scenes, but we know, Lord, from reading our, your word that you love your children. Yes. You protect your children. You guide your children. You do so much for us that we don't even thank you for. But Father, help God, help us to have a thankful heart yes. because we know you work for us all the time yes. to keep us safe. Yes. Yes. So Father God, we pray, Lord, that, that our hearts will be turned to you yes. fully. Father God, we continue to pray for uh, uh, our young people yeah, yeah. in Midtown, Lord God, that, that they, they, they look to us, that they look to the seniors, they look to uh, the, the leaders for guidance, to, for help, for counsel. Father God, we pray, Lord God, that as leaders in Midtown, we would be a good example for the young people. 
to follow. Because we're following you. Father God, we continue to pray for those that are unmarried. Pray we lift them up to you, Lord God. Father God, we pray that they stay faithful. That they stay in your will. Pray, Lord God, that you will speak to our hearts through our pastor this, this, this day. That we will hear, thus says the Lord. So we thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
wise love. You know, sometimes love is not always, not always easy. I have a prayer partner who, uh, who was called to the hospital to be with the family as they make the last decisions about their loved one. I think her name was Mamie. And he said when he got there, everybody was mourning and crying. And, and they, were, they were fearful that, that this was it. She hadn't eaten in two weeks. And they, she had requested initially not to take the feeding tube. So after about two weeks, you start shriveling down pretty fast. The doctor had said that there was very little or no activity mentally. And when the doctor, when our pastor friend got there, he said, you know, sometimes God called you to do strange things. So he said when they gathered in the room, he got ready to pray. As he got ready to pray, it was as if the Spirit of God said, call her name out loud. And he thought, okay, Lord, I'm going to look crazy. It's going to look strange. And as they were getting ready to pray, he said, Lord, you, you just a typical pastor's prayer. And then he said, Mamie! And, he, and, now, and, and everybody did just what y'all doing. Y'all looked at me like, what? <laughs> and he said, he still had his eyes closed and he felt a little uncertain, but he felt as though the Lord said, call her name out loud. And he said, Mamie! Amen. And she opened up her eyes. When she opened up her eyes, her first words were, why did you call me back? I was almost home. He said that afterwards, he, she told him that she was just ready to go home. And that she could see herself backing away from the things of God. Not the things of God, just backing away from life. And as further she got back, the harder it was for her to hear. So he said, she said, that's why you had to call the second time. She said, I barely heard you the first time. You called the second time I heard you. Y'all, he told us. <laughs> and that's why we have a pastor's prayer meeting. He said, man, that's the best member I got in church right now. <laughs> he said, when folk get up, get all upset with me, she come and say, Pastor, you having some trouble? <laughs> And I hope nobody's offended by what I'm about to say. She said, Pastor, I'll straighten them Negroes out. <laughs> she's an usher, and he says, Brother, he says to us, he said, every time I get to church, she's on her post. But he had, he had to call her back. Now, I said all that to say, I, 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 want, uh, I want a son to come up here. Is he over there? Brother, come on. Uh, some things occurred last Sunday, as many of you saw, and, and he knows I love him. It's, matter of fact, you might have heard me share with you the day before we had went on a on an opportunity for him to really uh, put his put his skills on display and he did a fine job. And y'all, we need to know this. The Bible says every time we desire to do good, evil presents itself. Y'all say amen right there. Because if you haven't experienced it, you will. When you can make up your mind, you're going to serve the Lord. Yeah. And things that wasn't going wrong well, will start going wrong. Yeah. Problems will start developing. Yeah. People that you love will almost get upset with you, and it doesn't, doesn't seem like any reason why. Right. Well, as a result of last week, and he and I had a good time of sharing afterwards, I said, I'm going to have you to come forward and share some things with the church. And here's the reason why, y'all. We're losing too many of our boys. Yeah. Yeah. We're losing too many of our boys. Matter of fact, I, I had three options yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. I wanted to go and be with Brother Otis Barker as he said goodbye to his son. Uh, yeah. Many of you may have heard. Yeah. All he did was took a lick off some ice cream mm. of his girlfriend and didn't know it had nuts in it. Oh, Jesus. And he didn't have his mm -hmm. epi pen yeah. and he died. You know, it was yesterday. Church was full, but it was too late. The other funeral I was invited to was the three-year-old that was shot 12, 14 days ago yes. who wasn't even in the problem, but somebody shooting randomly and shot that three-year-old boy in the head. And I remember praying at the hospital for this boy. There's been a few times I prayed hard, Joe. Yeah. I prayed hard. Lord, don't let this boy die. And he died. And they had the funeral yesterday. 
A few years ago, I was called to another hospital setting. The baby was born without any legs or hands. Yeah, all four of his limbs were not developed. And the doctor said that the same condition was probably going on in his head, and it would have been better for them just to leave him on the table. And so they needed prayer. And we prayed. And yesterday was his fourth birthday. Y'all, you know, that boy was walking around and they played the music. He was dancing on some stubs. He don't even want his prosthesis. Amen. And he was talking good and walking. I mean, he doesn't have legs to walk on. But he was, and, and so I had to make a decision. Do I go and celebrate with this family life? Or do I go and celebrate with these, the homegoing? And I, we went to be with him. Well, this young man, I believe that God's got a call on his life. But I also believe Satan is spiritual, and Satan knows if God's got a call on your life, he's coming after you. Yeah. He's coming after you. Yeah. If God has put his hands on you, Satan says, I got to stop you, because you're going to make a difference in other young men's life. Yes, you're going to be a model for what it means to be a young man in the Lord. Amen. And as a result of what happened, I asked him after we talked yesterday, I said, I'm going to have you come forward. Now, he said he already came forward. Yes, I didn't hear it. Amen. Okay. I want him, to, want him to say from his heart where he is, and I want us as a church that if you if it sounds like it's the right thing, and I'm hoping it is, that we wrap our arms around him. Amen. Not only around him, but around all of our young men. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then y'all, let me say this. We need, to, we need to just make up our minds. If you're going to be somebody's father figure or mentor, they're not always going to like you. Loving people is not always easy. Is that right, mama? Sometimes you have to do the hard thing. Say, no, you can't go. Do what I told you to do. Then you can go. I love this young man, and I want to see God bless him and move him forward with whatever God has for him. And so I think he wants to share a couple of things with you, and then we're going to move forward. I don't know if I'll share a couple of things. Yeah, that's what I said. You're going to share a couple of things. Now, can you tell us this? Are you a Christian? Yes, sir. Do you want God to be pleased with your life? Yes, sir. That's all I want to know. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen y'all. And when the occasion arises, it might be you see him at the bus stop. Might be you see him on his way to school. Remind him you said you were a Christian. You said you wanted to please God. Amen. Amen. And y'all, we need to challenge our boys. We need to challenge our girls. Amen. We need to be challenged ourselves every now and then. I thought you said you were a Christian. There are some expectations for us as Christians. So let's keep them in our prayers. Amen, y'all. Amen. 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 All right. Quiet. Oh, wait a minute. I got a couple of announcements. got a couple of announcements. As many of you know, Vacation Bible School begins this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to need volunteers. We're going to need people to help us with uh, all of the particulars. Uh, volleyball, uh, bases for the baseball game, for the kickball game, classroom setups, water, and Activities, we're going to need your help. And, and we're asking for your help. Amen? Amen? It begins this coming Wednesday at 6 o'clock and it will go to 7.30. Three days. And then Saturday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, we have a cookout. We're going to certainly need your help there. They, we were planning on having a bounce house and those kind of things, but they, they want to also do it at those kind of park settings. So that means all of the fun things we're going to have to help them do. Uh, we, we as parents and we as adults need to, to be on our post this coming Saturday. We would love for the volunteers to be there around 9.30 or 10. The actual events begin at 12. So if you want to come and help us set up, it's going to be at right now. Glen Falls. Glen Falls. Okay, good. It's right there. Glen Falls Town Hall. And I think it's called something else. What else was it called, Sister Flo? Where is she at? Ellis Island Park. 
called Yes, Island Park. So if you go out there, I think it's actually the same location. One is where they take the pictures at, and the other one is just the is where the shelter is. When you get there, right there at the fire department hall, you can see the big building. That's where we will be. Uh, this Saturday at 10 o'clock, for those of you who will be helping, 12 o'clock the events will begin. So we need to help for that. So remember, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, BBS, and we're going to do our best to have a, have a good curriculum for our kids as well as our adults, and then have good and fun things to do. And then afterwards, the next day, Saturday, we're going to have our, our annual cookout. Next month, we're going to be next, going to be across the street. We're, we're aiming at trying to do it twice, but I know we're going to do it one time when we're going to be across the street. Uh, I think Sister Melanie was pointing at Sister Shirley and yes. Sister Flo. No. Sister, Sister Flo is going to be needing to write your names down for what you're bringing. You're bringing uh, potato salad, green beans, or whatever you're going to be bringing. Church will supply the meat, but for any of those other additional items, the support items, somebody could probably bring ice or or potato chips, a big box of those potato chips. But see Sister Flo and Sister Shirley, Yes, yeah, Sister Flo had an announcement. Sign-up sheet. Sister Flo's going to have a sign-up sheet, and please do sign up. And here's the reason why. We don't, there did not be an organization in it, and everybody bring the same item. Amen. You know, it, it would be great if we brought a variety, so that maybe somebody brings the salad, somebody else brings the, the potato salad, somebody else. So please, if you don't mind, just so that there can be order, the God we serve is the God of order. Amen. 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 So please, uh, sign up on the list. Uh, men, uh, we're going to need you there because, as you know, there is an actual falls there. And there's water. So that just means we just need to be on guard. When we were at the other facility, and the reason why we're not there is because they closed the place where we would normally be meeting. Because of the pandemic, they said they're not going to open it up for the rest of the year. At least that's what they said back then. So we do have a shelter, so if it rains, we'll still be there. We'll be out of the rain. It's a wonderful place to, to reside in. And it just was the hands of God because so many things were changing so fast. And the lady said, you all just got in uh, at the right nick of time. So we're looking forward for those of you who can join us for our church cookout, our annual cookout, and then those of you who can handle us or who can help us with Vacation Bible School. So there will be flyers here Wednesday early if you want to come and join us. We've got some uh, high school kids that are going to be putting out flyers all over the community. So if you want to come up early, you can. Well, just to flow in, others that volunteer. And y'all, we need your help. We really do. Uh, when we accepted the challenge to take on the summer youth children, I guess we just didn't wrap our heads around the fact that many of them are still teenagers. I don't know why we just didn't think that. <laughs> but teenagers need supervision, guidance. Amen, y'all. Amen. Amen. <laughs> they need our structure and supervision. I mean, they're big enough to, you know, to be grown, but they're not grown yet. Amen. So they go in the back and they hide. <laughs> <laughs> they did it this week, y'all. They hid. <laughs> I, I mean, they just, they're teenagers, but they're, they're, they're not bad kids, but they're teenagers. So if you can help give us a day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and really for the rest of the next five weeks, if you can say, Pastor, I got, I got, we got Tuesday or Thursday or Wednesday, we would love you to just come. And, and they're, they'll work, and they've been doing a good job, but they do need adult supervision. So if you can help us, we would certainly appreciate it. I think that's, oh, oh, I do have one other announcement. Y'all, we did get a new lawyer for our case with the parking lot. I just feel the need to keep you all updated as to where we are. The new lawyer has made some grounds with them. They're willing to do some things. What we need your prayers for is, is ask the Lord how he wants us to proceed. Because we don't want them to do anything that makes them think they own our property. Amen. 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 And so if we do allow them, we still want them to know this is still our property. And just like this week coming, when we say we don't want you on our lot, come Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we will have some folk up there. So y'all, we may be getting in trouble again. But when our kids are back here playing, we don't want anybody driving back there in their BMWs and 
accidentally hitting any of our kids. So we need you a couple of men to just be here Wednesday at 6 to say to them, and we're going to give them a letter to that effect. We have already done that, I think. But if not, we'll do it Monday. For Wednesday, Thursday, Friday evening, there will be no parking on block. Same thing applies to those of us, too. You can park on the side, either side. But the back of the church, we're reserving it for kickball and fun and games and those kinds of things. So I think that's it. Is that, is that all the announcements? Trustees, did I get everything? Amen. Amen. So please, y'all, don't take uh, this thing for granted. Let's keep praying. Amen. Let's keep asking God. I believe that, y'all, we have the victory. Yes. Amen. But it's because we are, because we are diligent. Amen. Amen. I mean, you, you need to know, they're not going to lay down and just let us have our parking lot. Amen. They want our parking lot. That's what gives their business viability. They need to be able to say to people next door, free parking. Well, sorry about that. It's our parking, it's our parking lot. So we need your prayers. We need your support. Amen? Amen. 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 Quiet. Bless us.
going to ask our officers to make ready that we might receive our offering. And again, I want to encourage the saints, let's take God at his word. There are only a few places in scripture where God says, he literally says it. He said, try me. And when it comes down to finances, y'all, that's one of the areas where he says, try me and see what I open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. And y'all, I made it one of my personal uh, endeavors to ask people that honor God with their, with at least their time. And I said, has God ever let you down? Has anybody, anybody, has God ever let, has God ever let you down? Has he ever disappointed you? No. So I just want to encourage you, saints. So let's become, and, and I'm, I'm going to change that a little bit. Let's become at least. A time being true. Amen. Yeah. I say at least because that really ought to be your beginning place. Yeah. It, 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 for those of us who've grown in the Lord, we know that the more you give, yeah. well, the more the Lord blesses. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you to stand down if you would and follow the leading of the ushers from the rear of the church right around. Blessed for the fervent of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.